A spaceship is sailing in the universe, and Steve's team will search for a new home on Earth for mankind. At this time, the Earth was infected with viruses, and the ecological environment of the Earth was destroyed. Eight years ago, scientists discovered a mysterious sphere. The sphere may have something to do with the origin of the Earth. After years of research, scientists have discovered that spheres can alter the elements of their surroundings and perhaps create new Earths. So Steve summoned several outstanding members to prepare for a space light year leap to thise the planet, 60 light years away. Everything was ready, at this time Charlie activated the time-space switch for jumping, and the spaceship malfunctioned. The accident caused the entire crew to fall into a coma. Fortunately, the space jump was successfully completed at this time. At this time the unconscious crew members were also awakened by the light of the blue planet. What appeared in front of their eyes was a blue planet, but this was not, thys the planet they were looking for. Steve and his party did not arrive at their destination accurately, and lost the coordinates of thys the planet. As a result, the spacecraft cannot perform space jumps again. Steve blamed Charlie for all the mistakes, and then erased Charlie's work, privileges. Angry Charlie took the tools and went to the engine compartment. At this moment, the cockpit also received a signal to open the engine compartment airlock. Just as Steve was about to step forward to check, the spaceship sounded an alarm. Just when everyone was terrified, Charlie's body hit the glass of the spaceship. Steve thought Charlie had ruined the hope of human survival. Although they have just lost one player, they must also complete the task as soon as possible. Since it is impossible to reach the planet Theth, choose the planet M78 in front of you. The spaceship enters planet M78, a blue planet that looks like Earth. At this time, a living body was lurking in the spacecraft. Due to the dangerous climate of this planet, the damaged spacecraft traveled through rain and shine. With years of experience flying spaceships, Steve was constantly friction gliding, stopping on the rough and rocky ground. The spaceship stopped on the edge of a cliff. After the discussion of the team, it is considered that this planet is suitable for the new Earth. The team members work together to move the sphere out of the spaceship. Planet M78 has no oxygen, but has a gravity similar to Earth. Everyone walks the planet wearing a breathing mask, looking for a place to place a sphere on this barren planet. The planet's terrain resembles the appearance of the Earth, and this discovery made the team members very happy. Steve said there will be other Earthlings coming here in a few years. Although this planet is beautiful, the more beautiful something is, the more dangerous it is. A few people chatted and laughed, and then relaxed their vigilance. At this time, Peter, who was guarding the spaceship, discovered the anomaly. Peter found a large amount of fluid and found the video left by Charlie in the engine compartment. After the sphere was installed, Peter urgently called his teammates to evacuate. After his teammates returned to the cabin, Peter said that for everyone's safety, the cabin is now closed. Just when everyone was puzzled, Peter played Charlie's video. The video was filmed by Charlie to prove he was right. In the picture, Charlie is using a flashlight to find the cause of the malfunction, when suddenly alien creatures attack Charlie. It turns out that Steve misunderstood Charlie. Alien creatures are very smart, and they landed on this planet in spaceships a long time ago. Just as everyone was discussing how to deal with alien creatures, new changes took place in the sphere. The energy inside the sphere is constantly rising. Steve wanted to know, but Peter stopped him and relieved Steve of his command. The ship suddenly lost power, new alarms sounded, and alien creatures invaded the ship. Peter was very angry at the moment. Steve then hatches a plan to wipe out the aliens immediately. While making plans, Steve also made full preparations. At this time the spacecraft's controller failed. After Peter's repair, the spaceship regained its power at this time. Just then, Steve ran desperately into the ship and closed the hatch. Cut off the tentacles of alien creatures. Then Steve started to study the tentacle, and the whole current was affecting the surrounding environment. Steve can see an alter ego, and Steve speculates that this creature is a transmitter that can connect to Earth. Just when Steve wanted to share the news with everyone, Peter locked Steve in the laboratory. At this time, Peter analyzed the information through calculations and made a major discovery. It turned out that this blue planet turned out to be the Earth 4 billion years ago. When they crossed the stars, they didn't go to thys the planet, 
but stayed in place, traveling through time and space? Back to the Earth four billion years ago, Steve then remembered the bracelet he had given his girlfriend Lisa, which was shaped exactly like the fragments of the sphere. Same bracelet, just, at a different time. Steve had engraved the message on the four billion year old bracelet, and Steve was sure Lisa would see it. As long as Lisa follows, the prompts to connect to the sphere, she will be able to get in touch with Steve four billion years ago. Just when Steve knew it, Peter was about to blow up the sphere. David broke the news to Steve and opened the lab door. Steve went to the control room to find Peter. While the two were chatting, Jess suddenly shot Peter. It turned out that Jess was attacked by a monster and infected with a virus. Steve activated the bomb directly and opened the hatch of the spaceship. As Steve looked around, Jess faced the alien monster. The alien monsters at this time are extremely powerful. Steve ran out of the ship. Steve, who just ran out of the spaceship was blown away by the spaceship. Steve escapes to the cave where the sphere was placed, awaiting his meeting with Lisa. On the other side, Lisa also noticed the change on the bracelet. Lisa came to the cave where the sphere was stored and followed the prompts to complete the link. Two people who have spanned four billion years are about to meet. Then Steve told Lisa the key to saving humanity. At this time, because of the information provided by Steve, Lisa successfully developed the vaccine and saved all mankind. The movie ends here.